Let's see what professional tools are required to check and adjust this engine model. The number of the crankshaft location tool is JLR303-1270. The number of the camshaft location tool is JLR303-1277. Flywheel locking tool, JLR303-272. Since with the engine running, the crankshaft drives the intake camshaft through the timing belt and the intake camshaft drives the exhaust camshaft through the chain, the principle of checking the timing of this engine is as follows. First, make sure that the ratio between the camshaft and the crankshaft is correct, and secondly, make sure that the ratio between the intake and exhaust camshafts is correct. Only if the above two points are observed, the engine can work normally. Check the ratio between the crankshaft and camshaft. First, unscrew the sealing plug to install the camshaft retainer. Rotate the crankshaft clockwise only. Install the JLR303-1277 camshaft locking tool in a special position. Install the crankshaft timing adjustment tool, JLR303-1270. If the camshaft timing adjustment tool and the crankshaft timing adjustment tool can be installed simultaneously. This only means that the ratio between the crankshaft and the exhaust camshaft is correct. Also check the ratio between the intake and exhaust camshafts because the intake and exhaust camshafts have a chain drive. Just determine the number of links between two points on the camshaft. The verification methods are as follows. Disconnect the hose, remove the valve cover, and the corresponding brackets. Find the marks on the two camshaft sprockets and check if there are six links between them. If the position is incorrect, then an adjustment must be made. When adjusting, align the timing chain with the marks on the camshaft sprockets. Incorrect position may cause the engine to shake. Of course, when we encounter engine shaking, we must take into account not only the operation of the valves, but also the position of the balancing shafts. The engine is also equipped with balancing shafts. Improper installation can lead to unstable engine operation. Make sure that the position between the balancing shafts and the crankshaft is correct. To do this, drain the engine oil, remove the oil pan, remove the oil pump, and install a special tool. The tool numbers are JLR3031328. If it can be installed correctly, the balancing shafts are in the correct position, otherwise it needs to be fixed. After confirming the correct timing mechanism setting, you can start replacing the timing belt. Remove the crankshaft pulley. To do this, install the JLR303-1272 flywheel lock by attaching it to the gearbox. Loosen the crankshaft bolt, then remove the pulley, remove the crankshaft position sensor, remove the crankshaft position sensor ring. Remove the timing cover. Loosen the tension of the timing belt by loosening the tensioner bolt. Remove the timing belt. Please note that when removing the timing belt, do not rotate the crankshaft or camshaft. Check the rollers, tensioner, coolant pump, and so on for faults. Replace the timing belt. Before installation, make sure that the camshaft position is correct and install the crankshaft pin in place. The setting key is currently in the 12 o'clock position on the crankshaft. Install a new timing belt and proceed in order. Carefully tighten the timing belt tensioner bolt manually. Use the tool to adjust the tension force counterclockwise until the arrow is in the desired position, and then tighten the tensioner bolt. The tightening torque of the bolt is 25 nanometers. At the moment, the timing belt is already installed, and it needs to be turned several times to check and adjust again. The method is as follows. Screw on the pulley and remove all special tools.
turn the engine clockwise. Install the crankshaft positioning tool, JLR303-1270. Install the JLR303-1277 camshaft sprocket positioning tool. Check if the positioning tool is in place and then check the tensioner to make sure it is installed correctly. At this time, keep an eye on the tensioner arrow. If the arrow is in the wrong position, repeat the operation of tightening the timing belt until the arrow is in the correct position. Finally, tighten the tensioner bolts to a tightening torque of 25 Nm. The installation is complete. Next, remove all special tools, install accessories, and install the chain cover. Install the magnetic ring and the crankshaft position sensor. Make sure that the flywheel clamps JLR3031272 are installed in place. Secure the crankshaft pulley bolt. Be careful when using new bolts. At the first stage, the mounting torque is 70 nanometers. At the second stage, based on this, an angle of 82 degrees is added. Install the valve covers and related accessories. Remove the flywheel lock, JLR3031272. The timing belt replacement procedure has been completed.